It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1587, recorded on Thursday, September 8th, 2016. Two for the price of ten. intro, but I'll surprise you with it. All coming up next on The Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! now! Time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, the master of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir, and you? I am doing fantastic. It has been a busy week, which is uh, good Good to have. Good to have a busy week. That's better oh, than good? having a non-busy week in some weeks. I don't know, some other weeks, you want a non-busy week. Depends on the week, really. But this one was great that it was so busy. (laughs) Okay. Oh, my God. How about you? Uh, Let's see. Uh, I think I I bought a new propeller, put it on. didn't work. So then we had to go down, and we took it off today and put the old one on, and then tomorrow we'll try it out. How do you know that a propeller doesn't work? Does the boat just not Well, when you hit the shift and the propeller goes, (laughs) I go, you go well, that doesn't sound right. That sounds... I never, in 35 years of boating, broken. I've never heard a propeller sound like it was taking off without the boat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, I know. So I thought, before I do any real damage to this engine, let's just take it off and put the old, at least the old propeller. It pushes the boat slowly, but it doesn't make any weird sounds. So uh, that's what we did. And you know, in the videos, it shows you, you go up to it and you take it off and you da da da. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Not but in when, three you're, minutes. when you're laying on your stomach, leaning over the dock, and tugboats are going by and the boat's going up and down and the boat's three feet above you and then you're two feet above the boat, it, it's not the same thing. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But did uh, you finally get it to work? Uh, I got it to work at the dock, but to tell you the truth, I didn't want to go out and run it in the Hudson and have a problem and be late for this show. So basically we ran it in the slip, tied up, forward and back. It made no weird sounds. It strained on the line. So I know that there's a lot of push and pull power. So tomorrow we'll go out and do it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So now did you buy anything last week after our show? Uh, the, the crappy corner gadgets? Is that what you're saying? No. After Norris Hall wowed us with his oh. video about the arc coil light. Do you have a second of video of that? Uh, yeah, let me grab it. I didn't. You know, I restrained myself, uh, which is uh, not normal. Uh, well, uh, uh, let's see. We taped on Thursday. Friday, I got, no, nah, I don't need that. Saturday, I said, mm, I don't need that. And then Sunday, I said, it's only twenty dollars. Yeah, you ended up and buying it. And I well, I bought a different. So here's his. Right, here's the one that he uh, had. Yeah, and see if you can see if you can show the video of him making the sound. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna have to go grab that video. Uh, oh okay. But yeah, only no, I be- can do it. Uh, oh, okay, good. Because I I saw a different one, and. Hey, Dick and Chad. So here's, uh, and it comes in that. Low. Hope you can hear that. Yeah, you hear that? It, it sounds, sounds like sound. scratching. Yes, do it again. And I hope and you can hear that. Oh, uh, that he does like it one more time, like a little down, and that's that's great. That, but it's like it's, it's like nails on a chalkboard kind. Yes. Yeah, so so I bought a different brand, and listen, mine makes. No you sound. Hear any? Do you hear you're gonna anything? Sight, you're you're going to light your microphone on fire. No, no. You, no you're absolutely right. <laughs> well, but uh, I tell you, it, it's a trade-off. So mine, a lot, some complaints about the one that Norris had is that the opening is tiny. Mm-hmm. And even to, I don't know, none of us smoke. 
but even if to light a cigarette, you have to put the cigarette in like by the corner. It. Okay, got so it. So this one has a very wide arc, but consequently, it's a weak, weak beam. Can you even see the beam? Barely, yeah, a little bit. See, kinda. his is like a his is like a ribbon. Yeah, and it and look, Yours I'm is holding like a, a thread. Like a thread. I mean, you could get a probably get a whole cigarette in there, but what this? I'm back to my mic. What disappoints me is it makes no noise. So I don't know. Yeah, it's not nearly as impressive as look at no, my so I, arc yeah. lighter. You know. So I think I, I think I'm gonna send it back. And also, I ordered gunmetal gray, and the box came and it says black on it. <laughs> Yeah, that does that is not gun. You know what? Amazon you, you have to watch Amazon with colors. Oh big because time. last week I said I want the red one. Yeah. And you and, and and you found the red one. Well I was when I went to order that I clicked on that and the description says orange. Yeah. And then one of the pictures is, of it is orange. So, but maybe not the picture for that item. Like if you saw, yeah. I mean, I had that same issue with shoes. Do you remember? I wanted a very specific oh, yes, color yes. of shoe. Finally got that. I'm wearing these shoes right now. Finally got oh. the color that I wanted. But the one that they shipped originally was bright orange. <laughs> and I didn't want those. So I had to send them back. And, and the color, you know, when you did the drop down, the description said... Something was had so. However, you know, design firms come up with names for ridiculous. You know, sunset on a beach. You know, uh, who knows? Um, but in the photo was these gray shoes. But when I added it to the cart, it was orange shoes. The image, the little pro, the little preview image. So I couldn't tell which one was which. Anyway, yeah, colors anyway. are weird on uh, Amazon. Yes, yeah, someone asked. Yes, this was seventeen dollars. Gotcha. Okay, this was this was sixteen ninety nine, and it lo it was a little more shaped like a cigarette light. I don't know, it didn't make any difference to me. I sort of liked the interior. I kind of liked that trendy orange thing, yeah. but I think I like uh, Norris's better. I like that sound. I like, and I like that ribbon across. I'm not going to light anything with it. By the way. This light stuff fast. Yeah. I was showing it to I was showing it to Dennis, and he said. Well, can you light anything with it? And and he he took a piece of paper off my desk and he stuck the piece of paper in. Wham! <laughs> the paper wow. went up really fast. So wow. Um, anyway, lots of reviews. Lots of reviews saying exactly what we're saying. Have no need for this, but boy, is it a conversation thing at the office and at yeah. parties. Yeah. And I just think it's so cool that it doesn't need fuel. I could almost see in a survival setting having a generator, having a hand crank generator, but not having an extra bottle of fuel. Like even, you know, the apocalypse happens or whatever, you know. I think it's really neat that you can recharge it and you don't need anything other than a battery, anything other than a, a power source. Um, That's it. Which is pretty cool. Um, That's it. Cool. Yeah, I, did, I restrained. I, I, okay, I well, you're but, all right. You're a better man than I. But now I know. Now I know which, uh, which one to buy if I ever. Um, now, yes, I, did, I did end up buying uh, the uh, CD covers, definitely. I needed those. You so, did? No, I'm kidding. I was going to say, what? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, those, uh, those, those can stay. In uh, what the heck were they? Uh, D skins. <laughs> These skins, that's right. Skin. That's right. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, let's jump into some gadgets. Okay, we're going to start with Lamp Champ, an easy way to charge your USB device right next to where you're reading or napping. Here we go. Dick Bartolo, Mads Madness Writer, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Today, we're demonstrating... The Lamp Champ. What could that be? This is the Lamp Champ. Not a very imp impressive box. But <laughs> Lamp Champ Classic cardboard. is a device that, and that's it. And probably from looking at that, you might not know what it does. But it's a great idea. So basically, you're sitting in your easy chair, and you're using your tablet, and the tablet's running out of juice. So you plug in the USB cable. And then you have to find the AC adapter, 
and then you have to find an AC adapter that's close enough to charge your tablet while from where you're sitting. Okay, all you need is a lamp champ, and this is it. So you have a lamp. We've taken the shade off it for an easy demo. So it's an ordinary lamp, right? Uh, take pre-connected bulb. The lamp. Pre, yep. Yes, exactly. They recommend using LED bulbs. Put in lamp champ, okay? Put your LED bulb back in up to 60 watts LED. And that, and that just stays there all the time from now on. Didn't go on for a reason. Is because now lamp champ takes over. So you stop using this and you use this little, I'm going to turn this sideways here. Uh, and I'll actually, I can't shut the light off. I'll, I'll shield the light. Okay. All right, so now this is your on off switch. And the reason for that is now this USB is live all the time. Okay, now I can tell you that if you are not charging your device and you have no cable plugged in there, you can leave this on and then go back to using the regular switch. But when you want to be charging, this should be on and you should shut the lamp off with the little switch built into the base. And this is a regular USB. It goes in here. I'm not sure I have it right side up. Oh my goodness. First that might be the first time I ever put a USB uh, it, plug in. That was it is. Ninety nine percent of the time, I know. Uh, you don't want to force right. it in, so uh, and then no, you have it the right way. Device. Flip it around. So it's an chair. easy way to add a USB device very close to where you're sitting, and it's called Lamp Champ. Uh, I'm gonna have Dennis go over there to the screen. And uh, it sells for 20 bucks, but I see on Amazon already they have it for 15 bucks. So they However, champ and it is back to 20 today. Two yeah, 29.99 is what I saw. Out on the charging port, so that should be good for tablets or whatever you have to charge. Very simple device. Dick Di Bartolo, Mads, Mads, try to end the Giz with one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I think I'm going to give myself a little charge. Bye. Feeling low? Feeling you need to juice yes, up? on? Uh, yes. I, that's yeah. great. Especially, I, I had an apartment at one point that only had one power socket in the living room. What? One power socket. So I was trying everything I could do to, to work that power socket so that, uh, you know, I could, ha I could charge my devices, have a lamp, have a clock, have, you know, and a power strip, there's no way, uh, it was, it was the power, you know, just in my situation, the power socket was right, right next to the bed. So you'd always see this tangle of wires, uh, coming out of a power strip. So this is a nice, elegant solution. Uh, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, for a whole bunch of different, uh, issues, basically. Yeah. And as I said, the price changed overnight. Well, we shot that yesterday and it was fourteen ninety nine, and I thought I'd look today. However, now today they have something different. They now have two for twenty nine ninety nine. So if you okay. need two of them, they're back to $15. Interesting. So, yeah. Okay. So. so, and it says, uh, visit the store for unique innovations and an amazon exclusive this is an amazon exclusive oh maybe this what? is just an ad for amazon okay no that was just i i got got oh i see okay. i got i got i got confused uh okay yeah so uh reviews are very good 20 uh customer reviews all of them uh pretty pretty high up there only a few four stars uh, everything else is five stars. It's 4.9 reviews. Is there a different right. product that's not bundled that I should be looking for for more reviews? No, no, they're, they're all the it? same. They're both both the same product. That's the only product that I know of that they make right now. Right. I guess that's the only other worry that I would have is it looks a little funky. You know, a cable coming out of your lamp. Um, that's true. That's it true. It doesn't look any more funky than a cable coming out. But of you know, in the morning when you unplug it, just throw the cable in the drawer. So during the day, no one sees. Right. Or the cable. or move the USB cable to be at the back of the lamp if you can. Oh, you, you could do that. The lamp or something. Uh, so that uh, so that it's not as easily seen. 
This is also kind of a nice uh, thing is uh, every hotel I've been to has a a, uh, lamp. Not every hotel I've been to is it easy to get at the power. You know, no. sometimes they're no, all taken up. Just, you have to unplug the clock yes. or anything. Or, or they nail the furniture to the floor. Right, so you can't move it around. They don't want you to move it. Right. This would, this would be a great for every hotel. Yeah, or, it, to, you know, just your travel. You know, it takes a little bit longer to unscrew a, and screw in a, a Oh, yeah, that's chain. true. That's but true. still, if you're traveling with it, you know that you're almost always going to have uh, that power source. I also wondered, uh, could this be used internationally? I wonder what the uh, uh, voltage rating is. No, I don't know. Because if it could, if it, it, if it could handle the, was it amps, the one, 120 amps versus 240 it, amps? And yeah, it's, one, it's uh, 120 volts. I'm volts. 120 volts. I'm not an electrician. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so if you could take this internationally, bulbs are pretty standard across all nations. Yeah. Yeah. I, I what do you don't th- <laughs> I, uh, I'm not going outside this country, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I can travel with the one I have. Interesting. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, carrying a uh, converter... They say they are, says Bleak. So, yeah, it goes it goes from 100 to 240 volts AC. Oh. Uh, that's 50 to 60 hertz. It outputs 5 volts direct current, or 2 amps. Uh, so this could basically be an international uh, charger as well. Interesting. Very, very good. Captain J says, my universal toilet tank cover with dual USB charger is going to market soon. I hope it gets a mention on this show. Absolutely. Well, there's nothing better than AC power near a water supply. Yeah. <laughs> I, the ideal. Absolutely. The ideal yeah, that. that's why I'm creating my uh, my faucet charger soon. Uh, <laughs> you just plug devices right into the base of the faucet while you're cooking. Sounds yeah. great. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm making a place in the gadget warehouse for Captain J's device because it can go directly from the manufacturer to the gadget warehouse. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's a gadget warehouse on day zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so that is the Lamp Champ. Uh, the Lamp in Champ? 15 to $20, uh, wherever. Exactly. wherever or whatever, you, whatever, whatever Amazon decides at the moment. Right. Uh, and, and also you can check the company website that from time to time also has it on sale. And since I had the lamp on the desk, I found another lamp gadget. So let's take a look. Here is our second light gadget. Dick Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Uh, I'm doing my second in a series of Your Dumb Home. So this is simple, <laughs> simple gadgets. You know, a few weeks ago I showed a way to add an old volume control, a regular knob two devices. A lot of new gadgets have no on-off switch. You know, they use phantom power or vampire power. Basically, it means that they're using power. Ghoul power. And they never Ghoul. <laughs> That's Obviously, the word. if your device has a clock on it, you it has to have power all the time. But if you're looking for a, a simple way to add an on-off switch to a device, this is one way to do it. It's called the power control switch. And wherever the device is plugged in, just unplug the device. Here we use an extension cord just so we can have it up on the demo table. Take that out. Plug this device into, this would probably be your baseboard. And it's, it's uh, polarized, okay? Now it shows you that there's power in there. And this is also polarized, so this is going to go down here. Okay? And now I have another way to control that lamp. So what's good about this is if, for example, we have a a lamp way up high here, 
and I actually have to get on a step stool if I want to shut it off. So what I'm going to do now, I just got these today, I bought four of them. Uh, I'm going to install one of these at the baseboard, or where the lamp plugs in, and that way I'll have control over it uh, exactly where I am. And these are cheap. So they're on Amazon. First of all, the pricing here. Check this pricing, Chad. Okay. One pack, five dollars and fifty cents. Two pack, twenty four forty five. A three pack, thirty eight. It's <laughs> gone up too. <laughs> okay. What? Ignore all that. Oh my that. gosh! I can't Look wait till after the video. There. Yeah, there'll be a link to this on my website, or I'm, uh, hopefully I put a link in the in the YouTube notes. Oh my Over God! It did go. I... Item. <laughs> just wait. And just wait. And oh, there it is. And what add-on okay. items are is when your shopping basket gets up to $25, they ship them free. Okay, it's not Amazon Prime. Uh, it took, oh, it took maybe 10 days for these to arrive. But it's really great. Just $2.99, and they're UL approved, and they are 15 amp, rated for 15 amps, 1,875 watts. So that's it. I think this is a neat way to put an on-off switch to anything that does not already have an on-off switch. And right now it's on. Dickie Bartola, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. And we're done! <laughs> uh, so, the pricing has got even more absurd. Because it, it looks like it gets rid of the add it only You can only choose the add-on item. So you can get one for $2.99. What? Oh you my... You can get two for $32.15. So the X... <laughs> it, goes, it goes from $2.99 so you're on the to actual $16 page. each. Yeah, this is the... Yeah. Amazon page. Right, well, well, actually, the thing that... Uh, what I did is I clicked on the one pack... And then in, in the one pack, it says quantity, and then I picked four. So it came to, I only paid eleven ninety six for four of them. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now, I don't, you no. know what, does Amazon read our notes and, and raise the, that's the second item we did that went up since yesterday. That is absurd. You could get one for $3, or you could get two for sixteen dollars each. I know. You what? think you think they would have somebody? I I, I don't know. Some it's algorithm bizarre. to know. Okay, if it's a two, it's not hard to parse one pack versus two pack. And no. if the price is so much higher, oh my gosh! The, get the get someone to take. Just take it. It's embarrassing. Just take it off. Oh my gosh! Uh, well. Right. Right. Well, we know which one. Oh, I, by the way, some uh, two people uh, in the chat room are saying yes. I did when I was searching this morning for something, uh, some information on the switch. I did see Home Depot now carries them, and the chat room saying they're three fifty at Home Depot. Nice, nice. So you don't even have to worry. But but at Home Depot, two of them is two of them seven dollars, or is two of them fifty nine dollars? <laughs> exactly. That's what Make we got to sure figure out. Check out one at a time if you go to Home Maybe Depot. Maybe this is a ploy to make the one pack look so lucrative. What if I sold a product for $15, but I sold a two pack of that product for $150? You would think you were getting such a deal on that, that $15 could be. product. That uh, could be. Yeah. That is so funny. That is just bizarre. That is bizarre. Uh, the one thing that uh, worried me is that there's no ground. Uh, ground no, there's not ground. It, it's for a two-prong plug. Right. So, so they, are, they are not grounded. And someone in the chat room says that I live in a country where all outlets have an on-off switch right on them. I have seen that. There are uh, countries where every single outlet has a little uh, switch. It looks like a little Ikea switch. Um, definitely. Oh, interesting. That's yeah. interesting. There was a really cool video actually made. Uh, actually, I guess it was that video we showed uh, about how safe plugs are in the UK. Uh, in, oh, uh, yes, yes. I saw that on Reddit and in the comments, or maybe it was, I don't know. I don't. At some point, I saw a map of what every single plug uh, 
uh, in the world looks like and which regions use uh, those various uh, plugs. Um, it, it was it's it's crazy because also there's a few um, <laughs> few plugs that are like really only used in like one country, which is is like oh man that poor country. Uh, <laughs> here the one that I saw, it was very similar to this one. The one I saw actually showed uh, the plug versions. Um, oh I see. Okay. So that it would say what A and B type is and and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, uh, there are definitely a few plugs that um, always have switches on them. It's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, moving on, I guess. Moving on. Okay, so this week I'm doing the warehouse video because uh, a devoted viewer who sent in uh, at least one video before, maybe two, Moses and his son Jacob, bought something new at Best Buy. Uh, that I thought was interesting, so we're making him our viewer video of the week. And this is Moses' video. He takes a second to start talking. Hey, Dick and Here John. we go. Um, I just want to bring to you or show you a gadget I just got. This is the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. Huh. It usually goes for around $50. I bought an open box at Best Buy for $41.99, plus I had an ten dollar Best Buy coupon which reduced it down to thirty one ninety nine I paid about thirty three thirty four after taxes um, this is the Microsoft wireless display adapter the idea behind this adapter is to send audio and video to from a Windows I believe it's eight point one and Windows 10 computer you'll be able to extend wirelessly your display to this adapter which is HDMI and you'll be able to receive audio and video at the other end it comes like this and it has a USB extension I guess so that if you don't have enough space so my idea is is that at night I want to watch on my projector outside my favorite podcast oh nice From this laptop to the deck where the projector is located. Um, I think it reaches about 30 feet and I think I'm just making it. So. Nice place. Yeah. This is my projector and I have the H connection free there. The USB adapter right there. That's my screen. At night it looks awesome. That's my keyboard, which I also control wirelessly uh, from here, instead of having to go in and set anything up. Um, I will show you at night how <laughs> That's it looks. That's the hot dog. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> the hot dog. My okay, God. it looked like it worked. This is the laptop inside the home. I'm sending, I'm uh, mirroring the display wirelessly from here to the projector outside. And now... We get to watch our favorite oh, wow. show. So now he's outside. Screen off of the projector wirelessly. It's pretty cool. It's a yeah. Over there. And the projector. And my family. Hold on. <laughs> and we're all watching our favorite podcast. And, and they're all sleeping. We'll all be attending right. the meetup <laughs> on put them to sleep. October 2nd. Oh, and they're all going to oh, be at the meetup. Great. That is too cool. That is too cool. So, an open box gadget from, uh, from Best Buy. From uh, Best Buy. Now, I looked on Amazon and... Uh, do, do you have the links for that I put yeah, up today? Yeah. Uh, so, when you go to the first link... It, it's forty nine ninety nine, which is the same at Best Buy. But down at the bottom, it says there is a newer version of this. Yeah, there's a new model of this. A new model of this, and the new model is forty nine ninety nine. So I guess you should just get whatever the new model is. Right. I have no idea what the change is. Um, Interesting. So, so, so I this, think that this is using a uh, a program called Wi Fi Direct. I don't know. I, don't remember. I, I know it's a program that's only on Windows 8.1 8. Right. Uh, 8. and Windows 10. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this uh, touted in Intel 
conv- like on a convention floor uh, before. So I think it's an Intel chip that almost every Windows uh, you know thing is going to have. I think, but maybe maybe I'm I'm wrong. Um, yeah. So one side oh, of it is, is it's Miracast technology. Oh, it's, okay, okay, that's that okay. is correct. Okay, yes. Um, so what's cool? So at first, my first thought was that looks like there's a wire there. I'm not sure. So one is an HDMI that goes into the uh, HDMI port, and then one is for power, for extra power. You have a USB uh, dongle. So you plug in both. Most TVs nowadays will have uh, a USB. Uh, area two, which will supply a little bit of extra current, a little bit of extra uh, power um, to the uh, to that to that uh, HDMI port, which has all the wireless stuff built in. So that's cool. That is yeah. neat. There you go. So there you go, I, man. So th- th- I guess that means that I if if I get one of these, I could just wow. That's that that's for fifty bucks. To have a basically a wireless monitor for your TV. Yeah. That seems really cool. Man, interesting. Okay, well, I'm, okay. I'm intrigued. I, I may be purchasing one of these. Uh, oh, well, okay. I'll let you see. you got to buy something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I bought the lighter. I exactly, the... <laughs> exactly. Because, you know, I always have, a, a, or I've always had, you know, an idea of having basically a, a a media center PC that has all, you know, content and, you know, I can watch Netflix on and stuff like that. But if, I, you know, the distance isn't too far, I could just buy this. I could use my normal PC um, that's just like one room over. And uh, control you have Windows way. 8 or 10 on it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Get, get the new version. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. There, uh, Bleak has a uh, YouTube video comparing the two versions. I, I don't think oh. we can really uh, play that now. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a 23-second video. So I think we have time. Let's, uh, yeah. Okay. So this 23-second video comparing the two. Here we go. Maybe it's just in speed. Um, not exactly sure what we're supposed to be. Uh, neither am I. Is, is one for. clearer than the other? Or different color and than the other? which one's which? Yes, and which is which? That one looks to be breaking up a lot more. Yeah, you so you that? want V2. Yeah. Yeah, v2. See, see, you can look at the frame rate of that one. Yep. It's not, not so good. Interesting. Interesting. Well, maybe. yeah, Moses yeah, and uh, Jacob. Yeah, look at that. That very good video. Very good video. Very good. So chat room. So last week we had uh, the lighter that was interesting. So we're opening it up now. If you want to review a product, we'll put it in slot three on the show, and then I'll just do a gadget warehouse video in place of the viewer video. So if you want to make a video. Uh, like Moses and Jacob did, two to three minutes. Put it on YouTube as unlisted. So only people, if you want to, I mean, you can make it public if you want. Uh, Put it on YouTube as unlisted. Send us the link, and if we show it, you will get an autographed copy of Mad Magazine. Uh, And Moses says he wants me to autograph it to a friend of his, which I will do. So get those e- get those emails, get those videos going. Mail at gizwiz TV, and actually, I don't think we have one for next week. Gizwiz, a uh, mail at gizwiz TV. That's cool because I think there's a lot of people who who uh, especially watch this show. They buy all sorts of gadgets. You know, yeah, they buy gadgets all the time that. Uh, you think are cool or that you have never seen anyone else talk about that uh, there's not a lot of shows dedicated to kind of the, the smaller gadgets in our life. Exactly. You know, everybody's doing, the, everybody's doing the iPhone 7. Right. We're going to, we're we doing the iPhone. We haven't even mentioned it. <laughs> no, right. exactly. So, yeah. That's, so, that's, uh, that's cool. 
We we like who else is doing the hot dog and bun maker that <laughs> nobody Moses seems to own also. Nobody. nobody. Who nobody. else is gonna you know cover a remote switch? Nobody. Anyway, uh, cool. Let's. Uh, I guess it's time for because there's no ad today. There's no ad. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Chad's you crappy bunch of white wine. Chad's crappy corner. Uh, no. Get uh, it. Oh, it big. I had to fight the corner demon in order to get it. Uh, so uh, you guys voted, and uh, the results are in. We have hobby gadgets. As oh, this wow. week's uh, uh, theme, this month's theme. Sorry, obviously this week's as well because it's in the month. So we're going to cover gadgets uh, that are for your hobbies. So uh, this week, I thought a, a hobby that uh, jumps to mind. Uh, this is something that uh, I remember in high school. It seemed like every morning... Uh, me and my friends would, uh, if we got to school early, we'd sit in the library and we'd do crossword puzzles. It was our little hobby to do, uh, was to uh, do some crosswords. And me, not being so great at spelling, was never, I was never, if it didn't jump to my mind, basically in the first guess, I was lost. I was done. There was no way I was going to complete the crossword. So, I found... This gadget, it is the Collins Crossword Solver, plus Word Builder and Anagram Solver. You'll Ooh. never be stumped again, ever. Whoa. Exactly. This, uh, this packaging kind of looks like it's from the 90s, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but Franklin is uh, a company that... Oh, my is, gosh, yes. They've been doing uh, basically this type of uh, uh, stuff all the time. I mean, I, I think I had a Franklin uh, word speller back in the early oh 2000s. Oh, my. They, for they, years, they had the Franklin Electronic Bible. Right, right. So they're, they're, they're very uh, experienced in um, this type of... Of gadget, of course, I ripped the top, uh, opening it up and making sure the batteries worked and that my product worked. So you pull it on out. Oh, <laughs> pull it on out. That actually happened to me the first time I opened it. Uh, is uh, it fell out the bottom? So you get some instructions. You get it. It's nice and uh, put in here. And inside the battery is that infamous CR twenty twenty eight. What's uh twenty thirty two twenty thirty two the CR twenty thirty two. So. Uh, if you have any of those rolling around, uh, that is what uh, works with this. So, well, it, it comes with it, right? It comes with one. It does come with one yeah, battery. Okay, right. Okay. Um, Ooh. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, just quickly on the device, it has a, a lid that doesn't really do anything other than give you a little bit of instruction at the top. Then you have uh, some buttons. The buttons feel nice, uh, and uh, it works just like this. I have a crossword here that we can uh, help solve. You do need a few words, otherwise you basically just get uh, way, way, way too many uh, options. So, you can turn it on. Let's see how well this looks. There you go. Uh, to end this demo, press any key. Okay, there we go. So, uh, you have a whole bunch of different options. Uh, what's funny to me is that this is the crossword solver, and the way to get to the solver, it's... If you notice, it's the middle button. You would think that this first button here on the side would be, sorry, uh, would be what you need, but that's the thesaurus. Then you have a spell check. Then you have your solvers. So, and you can choose between a crew. There's a few. There's the crossword solver. You have the anagram solver, and you have a word builder. You also have games. So, oops, oops, sorry, I need to, we got the Anagram Game, Flashcard Game, Hangman, Spelling Bee, Word Blaster, Word Deduction, Word Train, no more. You got no more games. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, there, I mean, that's just uh, kind of amazing uh, that it has so much uh, packed in there. So, let's, uh, let's test it out. We got our crossword here. Four down, 
uh, to take pleasure in. Now, you, you know, a good crossword person would probably know uh, what this is. Um, but what we do is we go over to Solver. Whoops, sorry about that. You go to cro Crossword Solver, hit Enter, enter the letters. So we got, let me move this over here so you can see. Uh, we got E. Now, the next letter we don't know, question mark, J, question mark, Y. Okay? So that's how you determine what is a blank letter and what is a, a real letter. Oh, okay. And then you hit enter. And it'll think about it. And so its first thing is enjoy. And remember, it was take pleasure in. So that's that's probably oh. that's probably the, the the letter. So we can. Uh, so if it if it doesn't fit, does it have more? Right. So uh, let's say six down. Uh, uh, constantly checking one's phone. While on a date, for example. Constantly checking one's phone on a date, for example. So, uh, we can either, now that we have... That's we can, everybody in the chat room. Right, isn't exactly. It? That's, uh, yeah, Giz Watcher. So, okay, well, that, okay, I accidentally screwed some up. Uh, it says no confusables. I'll get to that in just a second. So, we can clear that out. What's weird is it, it I have to click back in. Um, unless if uh, I clicked a letter, but this one didn't have a letter, so I clicked the question mark, and it, anyway, it's, there's a little bit of weird stuff, because what just happened was, is I clicked question mark to put down, you know, the first letter, we don't know what it is, right. but it was, question mark is also a mode to figure out if there is a confusable word uh, so with that word. I'll get to confusables in just a second. Anyway. So I'm confused already. Yeah, I know. So it's question mark O, question mark O. Hit enter. B Bolo. No, I don't, I don't know. Boyo. Bozo. That might be right. Constantly bozo. checking one's Is it a phone. clown? Well, on a date. I oh, a bozo. That could be a bozo. Coco. Yeah. Coho. Colo. Doco. Doo doo. Gob, go, go. Uh, so we're going to go through a whole bunch of these, and when you get to the bottom, it'll just say uh, that, there, that there's in, no more. Now, I, I actually know what this one is. I have the answers. I'm trying to go up. Please go up. Um, and it doesn't know. It, it, has, it has missed over. The actual answer for this is no no. It's a no no to constantly check oh. on a date, for example. So it did not have that. Uh, next, uh, oh. I, I happen to know. Uh, now this is this is interesting that it does get this, but it wouldn't get something like uh, no no. So five across is uh, actress close of damages. A actress close of damages. Okay. So that didn't get it. So now, now we don't have to hit solvers and hit enter to get back into solvers. I can just start with G, question mark, E, N, question mark. Chat room, tell me if you know what this one is. Okay, and so it works. So this would be probably a name because it says actress. Oh, it's probably Glenn. And it is Glenn. Glenn damages. Uh, is uh, is the correct name? So it actually has a name, and it capitalizes uh, the first the first letter. So that's pretty cool. Um, now eight across, checking for fit as as close. So here we can put in Glenn, G L E N N. So checking fit. Any idea what this one is? Uh, eight across. T blank. Y O blank. Checking Check fit. Out as in Checking close. Fit. No. Enter. <laughs> the chat room saying major cheating. Major I cheating. I know, right? This is well, this is what it's like. Uh, that's why you buy a crosser. Oh, someone has it. Someone has it. So it actually did try space on. So there are yeah. some times when it, it uh, that's all it got, uh, it's smart enough to know 
you know, that it's two words. Other times with no, no. Uh, yeah. T but, you know, I thought, I thought a crossword puzzle wouldn't have two words unless it said two words. Uh, this is the uh, New York Times uh, itty-bitty crossword that you can get for oh, free okay. on their website. Wow. Maybe I, I could possibly have a chance. That was the only thing I ever solved on, uh, on the New York <laughs> Times. Exactly. So let me cover a few of the other. There's a lot of other features uh, in here. Um, like one of them, uh, let's go. You can, if I hit menu, what's weird is if I hit menu and go down, I can get to a calculator, but it's not on the major list uh, up there. Um, so let's go to uh, what some of the, uh, can't back up. Okay, enter, sure, calculator. I don't want it clear. I don't want you, say contrast. I don't want to be in this menu. No effect. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to uh, anything. It's word solver. Enter. Okay. So, uh, in fact, the source. Here we go. Let's go to the source. So, uh, let me tell you what confusables are. So, uh, there's two things. One, it has a thesaurus, and then it has this ab ability to choose to find out what confusables are. Basically, confusable is for is a word for um, a, ho uh, 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 a homophone, uh, a word that sounds like another word. So if I do pair, and pair has a few different ways to do it. So it has pair, now, now. You can see that on this blinky thing right here, there's C. There's a C. So I can hit question mark. And it takes me to the confusable. So you have pear, which is two. Pear, which means to trim off. Pear, which is a fruit. So it would work with two. T-W-O, enter. It says that there is, enter. No th thesaurus. Okay, so you don't have a thesaurus here. We could go to spell. That's, what's weird is there's no easy way to get to the confusables. So uh, we go to, enter. Correct word, okay. But there's a confusable available, so we hit the question mark, and you can see that there's two, which means to go toward two as an also, and two as an double, or the number two. Um, it also has a spell checker, so if I wanted to uh, spell something uh, wrong, like uh, vegetable, vet I don't think that's spelled right. I don't know. I'm dyslexic. Working. Correction list. There's the correct vegetable, right? Oh, okay. But what's weird is I did one the uh, just the other. Uh, well, what did I do? I did something like uh, B. I'm gonna do because, but with two letters switch. I forget which word I did. I don't know if this will actually work. Correction list. Okay, so it did get that. There was one word that I only switched two letters with, and it couldn't figure it out, <laughs> um, which was a little bit uh, frustrating. Uh, the other thing is if uh, there's any word that has a thesaurus list. Now, I don't know if there's going to be anything like that um, in this list. There we go. Uh, beaches. Beaches has a thesaurus list. I can hit T. Whoops, no, I can't. Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, and you can get to um, uh, the, the thesaurus. Now, the issue is that not many words have a thesaurus list. Uh, in fact, most of the words do not have a thesaurus list. It doesn't have any definition. It's only thesaurus, so you could glean the definition off of other words uh, that are in the thesaurus. Um, and a lot of words that you would think has a thesaurus um, are not in there. And you can see that also when you're going through um, things like enjoy, you know, and there's no thesaurus. Let me just triple check that there's no thesaurus on enjoy. Um, and it doesn't, it's a correct word, thesaurus for enjoy. Entry one of two. Okay, so it does. So it does have, uh, so it's like, love, appreciate. But see, appreciate doesn't have a thesaurus um, either. Oh, it does. Well, no, I was on relish. Anyway, so, uh, the, that, and that was the biggest complaint on Amazon too, uh, was that the, the source list is really, really lacking, 
um, in uh, words that can be pulled from it. It's uh, $30, uh, and I think I bought it for less, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly. Um, some customers love it. Uh, some customers hate it. A solid waste of money. <laughs> Instead of doing one thing well, this does many things badly. I enjoy uh, the Herald Tribune puzzles, but they're really difficult, and this gadget didn't belong in the same building. There's a 90% not in thesaurus rate that comes up, so it's nothing but a source of frustration if you're doing any kind of challenging puzzles. Personally, I am now using my phone, which has rendered this piece of yuck, I think that meant junk, uh, worthless and obsolete. I'm sure someone is finding uses for this thing, but if you can think, uh, if you can, if you think you can solve anything above an EZ puzzle, you'll be sorely disappointed. Obviously, the people that make these things have limited vocabularies or are just, <laughs> or are just too little money in their thing to truly be useful. They should resolve the problem, or better yet, attempt to actually. Uh, attempt to actually attempt the Times crossword and see uh, how far they can uh, go. That would be very funny. Um, you know, that is one thing that I didn't test is a really difficult and hard crossword because I'm <laughs> not very good at Neither crosswords. am I. <laughs> so um, that is the Collins uh, or the Franklin Collins crossword solver. Um, it is a little bit expensive at $30, and the thing that I didn't even think about until right now is that there is most likely an iPhone or Android app for That's at most guess. $5, at most $5, <laughs> that could blow this thing out of the water. <laughs> out of the water. I, 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 I'm, actually, I'm actually amazed that Franklin is still around for that who very Who knows? Reason. Maybe this is just a warehouse <laughs> uh, gadget. Um, I mean, uh, going to the Franklin page. On oh the my! Amazon, they, they have a they have a ton of stuff still. Yeah, I wonder if uh, they're still in business. Though. You know that there's probably people who don't want or use computers that this is fine for them. It looks like they don't have a website. Uh, oh, okay, that's a bad sign. Uh, yeah. Franklin? Now, now the, you know, was Franklin also Franklin Computer? I don't, it's the same logo, definitely. Oh, okay. All right. Publishers Incorporated, formerly Franklin Computer Corporation. Oh. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. It was on the stock exchange until September 2009 when it merged with Sunder Acquisitions Corporation. Oh, we all know that name. Like the back of our hand, Sunder <laughs> Acquisitions Corporation. Uh, I, yeah, years like ago, I did a lot of. Th Franklin used to make uh, one device, and then you would buy little modules that yeah. went into it. Yeah, I mean, it was the, the Franklin was around the height of the PDA. Yes, that's yeah, exactly. what Franklin was all about. Exactly. I know for a fact. I had a Franklin Speller. Uh, that the the big uh, thing that it did was it would speak a word to you. So if I misspelled, if or if I was confused about a spelling, it would a do the spell check, and then if it was a um, a word anyway, whatever word it came up with, um, it would be able to speak it back to you, uh, which was amazing to me because sometimes I would. Uh, I would see a word that I thought was the right word, but it wasn't, and I would be choosing uh, the wrong word because I I don't know how to how to read. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm trying to do a quick search for it, but uh, little little difficult. There's so many Franklin products that uh, can't quite. I remember it was big, it was bulky, it cost hundreds of dollars. Um, and I think uh, they they had one hit. I think I think it was called the Franklin Rex. Rex. And I, I believe it was the first uh, mini address book. There it is. 
And I think you could actually remember when cards had PCMI slots or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, this was that size. And you could put the entire thing and update it in your computer. Oh, my gosh. And then take it out and carry it around as a little uh, – this is before phones and all that. It is it so shaped just it had, like a PCI, it, it, yeah. Yes, exactly. It had mini apps. Wow. And then I think they sold it to somebody else. Yeah. 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 It's uh, that oh, is, yeah. <laughs> That is a uh, company of a bygone era now. Yes, exactly. Um, hanging on, hanging on with a thread. Uh, now, who made that the speaking spell? Um, you I know, I think I don't know if that was Franklin. I think that might have been like Leapfrog or Hasbro. Oh, I think it was Texas Instrument. Oh, that would yes, that's uh, yeah, that jumps to mind. Uh, speak and spell made by Texas Instruments. Yeah, they were the one who had that voice chip. Uh, yes, exactly. that was used on the government uh, 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 weather forever. <laughs> Coming to your area, high winds and degrees in the mid 50s. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so that was uh, my gadget, um, the Collins crossword sol sol solver. Uh, the Franklin, co co I, I guess, I, is, what is Collins? I don't know. It's big and I don't know either. The... I'm, I'm, li I'm looking at the, uh, it, it looks like one of those things where Franklin bought Collins. Collins had this thing and they figured, oh, let's just put our name on it. Back in the day when instructions were an entire legal sheet. Yes. Front and back. And this is all English. There is no other language wow. on wow. here. So, um right. So yeah, so that was uh, the Franklin Collins crossword solver uh, for uh, the crappy corner. Um, now we're going to do something different here now, is we're going to have the letter of the week now before we do the warehouse. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, so, Jumping okay. to the letter. <laughs> and the reason we're reading the letter here is I am a video editor. I saw that you don't have a video intro for Dick's Gadget Warehouse. We don't. So I made one for you guys. I love the show. Let me know if you want more videos. And it's signed by Ivan Han, H-A-H-N. And Ivan made a gadget uh, warehouse video. And so now let's go to the, the video. They're geeky and loopy. <laughs> Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Foghorn. Oh, <laughs> Quite Isn't that a neat? nice video intro. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Even been... if just a cover, I you know you can only do this so many times before <laughs> you feel like it might be getting and, stale. Yeah, and then foghorn, and you see a foghorn. Yeah. I mean, wow, wow. Ivan, uh, thank you. Ivan has a website at Ivan Han, I V A N H A H N dot com. So I'm not quite sure what is there, but I thought we'll mention his website because that was very kind of him to make us a gadget video warehouse. Yeah, that's uh, great. And now that we have the video theme out of the way, let's go to the warehouse now. Uh, now again, video theme. Oh again? no, yeah, th th no, no. We'll, we'll, we uh, now we can go to the video. Oh, my oh, video. Oh, of course, the video of the warehouse. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> 
Too many Vicky videos. Bartolo, Mads, Mads, Ryder, <laughs> and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Uh, once I got an email, and the person said, has anything you ever reported on as a new item ended up in the gadget warehouse? Well, basically everything uh, after a couple of years ended up in the gadget warehouse. And this is one of them. Uh, I went to the gadget warehouse and I had totally forgotten about Cuba Caller. All right. <laughs> Cuba you know Caller about this, Jeff? From 2007, so nine years ago. And it was designed for people who worked in a cubicle. You know, sometimes you work in a cubicle and your back is to the opening of the cubicle. You have no idea when someone comes in and is looking over your shoulder. Although I know a lot of people buy little mirrors that they put on top of their monitors so they can see when someone comes in. But the object here was people announced themselves by pressing this button. <laughs> And every the time sound? you set it up, there's on the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you could have, like, someone coming to your door. Oh, my gosh. Or you could. That's, kind of that like sounds a like an engineer. Kind of sound. You could have a space phaser kind of sound. Paul CG says he it's has kind of one. Funny. Oh, my goodness. Very unobtrusive. Foghorn. If you want to have people announce you with a cow. So what you do is you a select cow. it <laughs> down here with this. This would, this would be mine. Very theatrical. And then once you pick it down there. Well, how many are there? I thought there were eight. There were a dozen. That's uh, mine. Kitten. Yes, that's yours. Ta-da. And then once you uh, have the sound you like down there, you, you don't push this button. Now, every time you press the cubicle button, that will be your announcement tone. There's a little volume control, which you can make it very, very sound or loud. There's actually three different uh, controls. Was that the last one? Yeah. Gosh, there's so many words. Yeah. There you go. No, I think that was the original. You were back. Yeah. yeah. The bell. Back to the bell. So I think it was eight different sounds. So Cubicaller was twelve bucks. The cubicle doorbell. Uh, I searched on Google. A lot of places uh, listed is still available at ThinkGeek, but it's not there. And on Amazon, I'll just show you really quickly. Cubicola, cubicle doorbell, currently unavailable. Ding uh, dong, ring, ring, ring ding, ding electronics. This item will be back in stock. Ever! <laughs> and my guess is it won't be. So from Dick's Gadget Warehouse, this is Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, and Man's Maddest Writer with One Tag Theater here at gizwiz.tv. I gotta go. It's the bell. <laughs> That's a good. You know, it's I'm just coming. It's just like the uh, that uh, what was it that that device that made it sound like there was something going on. The uh, I think I oh have yes, one here. the uh, excuse machine. Yeah, the excuse machine. Yeah, the no, excuse I'm box. Run out of excuses. Apparently, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with excuses. Yes. Uh, <laughs> The cubicaller, that is so funny. At the back, it also it looks like it has some Velcro. Most cubicles It has some Velcro carpet. on it so that you could put it in your de lock it in your desk at night in case you were afraid that someone might take it. And also a so. lot of cubicles are made out of Velcro in in my experience. So you just or not yes. Velcro. Not out of Velcro carpet. Made out of carpet. Yeah, carpet. And so you this just would slap stick it on, on there yep, and yep. stick it on there. Yeah. Uh, very, very clever. Um, at first I thought the dumbest thing, <laughs> <clears throat> but by the end of the video, you know, my headspace gets into, uh, and especially people saying, I love this thing in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, I I'm, am surprised that no one has one on, uh, on uh, Amazon, we, uh, on, uh, uh eBay, uh, but yeah. someone in the chat room has one. That is so funny. Um, and I could definitely see that in a work environment, it, this is a very politically correct easy yes. way to yes. to get uh, someone's attention so yeah uh, you know this is one of those gadgets that someone will see this and reinvent it exactly exactly and we'll then see another it'll be one. A, 
be a big hit again. <laughs> Except that this time there'll be an, uh, a Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> yes! And uh, they'll have a Twitter account. Uh, and uh, yeah, exactly. Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook. You got to like them in order to get one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so the Cuba Collar, nice gadget. And you rem- in, as the uh, email suggested, you remember when this came out. For the first 2007. Time. <laughs> yes, I, re- I think I met the guy. He said, can I send you something? It's kind of wacky. And I said, wacky is a li- lot. Wacky is good. Uh, so I, I did show it on a lot of shows. I'm sure I did it on World News Now. And, um, you know, people like that. I think people like things that are inventive and, re- you know, pretty reasonably priced. Twelve bucks for a gag gift, a gag gift that is actually useful is not right. too bad. Right, exactly. And it looks like it has a lot of thought put into it in that, you know, it has the Velcro already on there. You can yes. use tons of sounds. It works well. Uh, Three volume levels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, yeah. You can tell that they actually put thought into the gag yeah. gift and that it's not just something that can't be used. So uh, I think people like that uh, as well. So cool. The Cuba collar from Call the... Up. New, it feels like the new and improved warehouse <laughs> with the video intro. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, I that's right. That that's in. right. Uh, great. Uh, now, before we leave, we do want to give a big thank you to our patron supporters over at patreon.com. Patreon is a place where you can support independent content creators like us. And we have our Patreon at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, that's where you can uh, support the show. Big, big, big thank you uh, to everybody who supports the show. Our patrons get access to vote on the crappy corner and to give their input on any questions that uh, we may have that we want to ask our audience. We ask the patrons first. So thank you so much to everyone uh, who supports. And uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, and and uh, your generosity is, uh, is uh, appreciated. Don't forget. Yeah, Don't... it's why the show exists, actually. Exactly, exactly. Without it, uh, we wouldn't... I mean, every once in a while we'll get an advertiser, but that's not enough uh, to, to really do the show. And uh, without the patrons uh, supporting from the very beginning, uh, we would not continue... We wouldn't have been able to continue to do the show. Um, so Correct. thank you so much. Correct. Thank you. Uh, there is a what the heck is it over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, and this one is a little confusing. So uh, definitely check it out. Uh, I would say, by the way, all you have to do is uh, go to gizwiz.biz and click what the heck is it uh, to see the gadget. Uh, this is uh, obviously a... Uh, a way to make a branch into a sword. Uh, you clip a branch right in there. I can tell this is some sort of clipping device. Make a handheld sword in seconds with the branch to sword Kickstarter campaign gadget. Uh, you got a hilt. You got a little uh, hand guard. Classy, fun, easy to do. The, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm selling it so hard. Uh, if you know what this gadget is, head on over to gizwiz.biz and guess away, there's 12 Mad Magazines uh, coming up in just uh, about a month and a half. Uh, this will be uh, over with. You can't guess anymore after that. And uh, 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers. 24, 25, 24 uh, Mad Magazines. 24, for- yep. Hilarious, ridiculous, clever, inventive, and cute answers. Uh, so uh, get them uh, sent over. No, no more than 25 words. That's what confused I was like, 25? 25, man? Have I got this wrong this whole time? <laughs> also, you, while you're at gizwiz.biz, not only can you check out uh, the uh, write-ups of all of the gadgets uh, that we talked about on the show, but go ahead and click on Dick's login blog, and you'll be sent for some info on this year's Gizwiz Meetup. It's on October 2nd uh, in New York, New York, at the Boat Basin Cafe right on the Hudson River. 
Uh, and Chad Johnson will be there. I'll be there. Uh, Our producer Josh, Josh will aka be there. Cheeto, will be there. Yeah, uh, we got. I mean, I know of a few fans who have reached out over Twitter or the chat room that say that they're going to be there. Uh, nice. It'll be a lot of fun. It's always a ton of fun. Uh, it is from uh, two to four p.m. on the second. So uh, we hope that. Yeah. You- and we'll we'll supply some beer. But if you want to go early and have lunch or breakfast on your own dime, it's a great location overlooking the Hudson River. Do they need to RSVP in any way? You know what? If they could drop me an email, gizwizbiz at aol dot com, and in the subject line, just put a number one five three. Uh, only because a few days before the event, I meet with the uh, cafe manager, and if we know that like it's thirty people or forty people or twenty people, how how big an area to set aside so we can have our own section. So if you can do that, gizwizbiz at aol dot com, and as I said, just just a number in the subject line that'll be perfect. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> and uh, with that. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I think that's about it. Oh, uh, if you go to gizwiz.tv, you can catch the show live every Thursday around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. uh, And everybody else can do their own time zone conversion. Uh, And you can also uh, check out the chat room while you're there. If you don't catch the show live, you can see our past episodes. Just scroll on down with links to the uh, pages where you can buy them and also links to Dick's write-ups on his website at thegizwiz.biz. There's links to subscribe or right there on iTunes, YouTube. Uh, You even have the RSS link for whatever podcatcher you choose. Also, if you want a good link to the Patreon, you can click the Patreon link up there. And that's also, some people would rather uh, support through a one-time PayPal donation. Hey, that is fantastic. You can find a link uh, there as well. Gizwiz.tv. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. I'll be here.